Hi guys, my name is Matt, and in this video we're going to be making a guide for the Violent Hold, the Wrath of the Lich King version of this, because after Wrath, I think they've had a version of this every expansion, guys. And so we're going to get out, started off here. Violet Hold is one of the simplest dungeons. Um, basic principle is the same across no matter what expansion you do, is that you are in Dalaran and you got some incoming enemies here, and you guys will see that these portals spawn throughout the instance. These portals are where enemies come from. I'm going to go ahead and get started here and tell her it's on. Let's go. Okay. Okay. All right, so now you guys are usually going to get usually get about six portals and then a boss. And then you can get started. So the quest that you get is called Containment right here. Okay, so you just watch now. Watch for a little portal to open up. There's the first one. Okay, you're going to head over there and you're going to get some mobs. Okay, portal guardian, here we go. So depending on what expansion it is, the difficulty of this instance um, varies greatly because, like I said, there's a violet hold for every expansion. And uh, this one's pretty easy. I think it's either the, I think it's the Legion one, if I remember correctly, that I actually thought was pretty tough. Like the mob choices in there for how they had it aligned was pretty tough. I am going to skin in here because this is not a super fast respawning instance. Anyway, for mobs, you get to wait a little bit between each pack. Okay. And we've got a Death Knight tank, so it's slow and steady all the way through, it looks like. Just waiting for the next one to spawn, guys. Easy day all the way around. Okay. And eventually what will happen is after these portals go through, then you're going to get one of these doors open, and between these big purple doors are bosses. So the bosses are random in here, which ones you'll get. None of them are particularly tough, but the instance always ends with one big bad guy in the middle, and usually it's a dragon for most expansions. In this case, it's Sinagosa. Here we go, next one. Okay, five out of eight, so probably one more mob pack, and then we got a boss, guys. Okay, now the little guy comes out and he's summoning the first boss. Okay, so he went to the water. So this is my least favorite of these bosses. This water boss pops out if you get him. And what he's going to do is you're going to fight him. He's going to break it into a whole bunch of little water uh, bubbles, pop all those, and then go back to the boss kind of over and over.
So just going to try to do as much damage as I can now. Kill all the little water bubbles, these guys. Any that I can find here. Okay, then he'll come back. I'm going to get to work on him. Hey, okay, same thing again. Little puddly guys. Clear through them. Back on the boss. No real danger here, just clear them out. Okay, boss again. Okay, he's down. Give him a loot. Okay, we got the chain leggings of the tide. Okay, let's take a look at those for those of you that are fans. Oops, I'm not going to replace my BOAs because I'm a big noob. Um, but let me look at how they would look, guys. You got a very shami looking dress. Okay, back to the regular mobs here again. Clear the rest of these portal guardians out. You got to get up to, let's see, 12 now. And then at 12, you'll have the opportunity to fight another boss. ones up here. Okay, Arctic fur was the rare um, was the rare fur from uh, Wrath of the Lich King. I don't think they're worth that much anymore, but that used to be the bee's knees when you got one of those for crafting. See over this way. One more mob pack, and then we got boss time.
Okay, we probably got our next boss coming. See which portal our little guy opens up. Okay, we've got the three kind of um, Sethic type guys over here, the Arakoas. So you fight these three bird men. You work your way through them. Then you'll have six more mob packs, and then you're going to have the last boss, which is like a blood elf that pops out, guys, and she turns into a big dragon. You'll get to see that here in a minute. No particular order that these need to die in. Just delete their faces. Okay. Second boss is down. Okay, here we go, ready? Another Arctic fur. Telling the guys to loot the corpses because I am a Skinner, guys. And they listened. Somebody even looted an old corpse. Yay. Okay. Next puddle. Portal. Portal? Puddle? You guys know what I mean. Okay. Yay! Yeah, hit max skinning and Wrath of the Lich King can't beat that. Okay, that's it guys, last boss. Here we go, we'll jump on down. This little lady becomes a big old dragon. 
There she is. Okay, we're going to pop that heroism. We're going to go big. All the coolies are down. Let's get busy. Going to pump up the deeps. Pump it up while the jam is pumping. Woohoo! She pulled us in for a hug. So she'll pull you in, but she really doesn't do much damage overall anymore, guys. Not too big a sweat. There we go. Get your loot. Get your skin. And get your turn in. Overall, 16-15 to do the Violet Hold. Pretty good little dungeon. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please throw me a like and subscribe so I can help as many players as possible. And hit the little bell icon if you want to get notified when I make future videos. Thank you guys for spending the time with me. This has been Matt from Light in the Darkness, signing out. I'll see you guys in the next one.